Hi guys, welcome to this week's Urban Uncut. And you will remember a couple of weeks ago that I made a bold statement that we were the best Defender modifier in the world. And this is testament to why I made that statement. We have a 110 XRS, we've got commercial Defenders. We have our 75th anniversary and a 90 XRS as well. But one thing going on behind this cover is our new support truck. You'll remember from months ago, we went through plenty of designs and we've chosen one. Lenny, bring her out. I don't know whether that's going to work or not, but... Just keep rolling. It's uncut. That's the whole point. It's, un it's uncut, bruv. I'm, I'm going to turn this up, right? And I want you to sing. They see me rolling. <laughs> I've gone from, hello darkness, my old friend. I'm in darkness. How cool does this look? It actually suits you. It goes with your get up and your beard. It's like striking. Is, it, is, is this the same, is this the same <laughs> look, colour as my beard? It's an extension of your beard. <laughs> ah, <laughs> well, this, that's why I have to, because my beard would naturally look like this with all the little white and grey bits yeah, in. So if we, um, if we just for gents that bit there, it'll yeah. be actually done, yeah. yeah. Anyway, enough about my beard. This is the new support truck, and you will notice that it has one thing different about it. It's got a big sticker on it. <laughs> it's, 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 it's got what, a big what, sticker. What else do you want us to say? What do you, we, we know about the, like the bob top and side vents. We know about the wheels <laughs> and the side steps. We know about the roof light bar. We know about the spoiler. The only thing different, let's not get this gassed up. There's no, there's, there's no clickbait to make sticker. this a really exciting thing. It's just got a big sticker on it. What do you think is a sticker, guy? Aside, it's not just a wrap. It's it's we have done some individual bits to it. I mean, first things first about the wrap itself. We did want martini, but we'd have got sued. Yeah. So we went with something almost a little bit the same, but similar, but not. And it's kind of like the dirty rally look. Yeah. Not the bird poo look that you pointed out earlier. The dirty rally look. And speaking of like the martini thing, so like the martini colorway is very synonymous with the Delta Integrale rally car. Yeah. Which is just like these wheels. Look, yeah, the wheels. Obviously we've done our WX3s finished in gloss white to contrast the satin white wrap. We've done a couple of little decals around the car in white, white, white roof bar, white spoiler. To go with it. And if you look from the back, obviously this is a promo vehicle, so it's meant to catch people's eye. Look at the wheel cover at the back. It's like very cool. It is like the chest of a stormtrooper. So obviously, with this being the urban support vehicle, this is going to be up and down the UK, collecting cars, yeah, all, all sorts. So if you see this out and about, make sure you take a picture of it legally, not when you're driving. Get the passenger to do it, <laughs> and um, tag us, and we'll repost it on our stories. If you see this car out and about, it's very eye-catching. It's the only one, obviously, in the UK that looks like this. Just uh, take a picture. I can't see anyone saying, you know that support truck, can you do me one like that? I don't, I don't see, I, who knows? Who <laughs> knows? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Partners yeah, so the, the wrap incorporates, uh, obviously, wraps by Yanomize. We did it in the Yanomize Bay. The team put this on. We don't normally do printed wraps, but we made an exception for this. Obviously, our branding through the middle. Voss and our wheel partner. 
Yanomai's, Yokohama, the tyres that we use on most of our trucks, mm -hmm. and Miltech Sport, who are exhaust partner and distribution partner in the US. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Get in the comments, tell us, did we make the right decision with this promo car? Stands out, doesn't it? we have for you here really does demonstrate that there's a defender for everyone so many different options engine derivatives and real uses for the car we've got a 110 v8 it's our limited edition one of 65 xrs edition now we're around 38 cars into this there are not many left this one will become very very exclusive very very soon comes with our Vossen UVX wheel, some extra special features like the carbon bonnet with the carbon louvers, which comes on no other car. Then you've got the commercial Defender. Now this is an N1 rated vehicle. It's perfect for company owners because you can have it with two seats in the front or with occasional seats in the rear. You can still flip the seats down so you can get tools, plant and machinery in the back. And as I say, it's an N1 rated vehicle, so it's fully tax efficient as well. So for those business owners out there, this is the one you want to go for. This is an existing customer's car. They bought it back in just for a bit of a freshen up. It's had a wrap, new wheels. It's also had the front A bar on as well, which makes the look much more aggressive. And you've obviously seen our support truck, so we will skip that and move on to the next. This is our second 75th anniversary Defender. This is a special build that we've done. We've got orders for two more, so we are four out of 10. We are only building 10 cars for this, so you have to be quick. If you want one of our limited model 75th editions available in 90 and 110, you need to be fast. This is completely limited. We will not make any more than that. And lastly, this is actually the second customer's car in this lineup. The hard top is this customer's, and this is their fun toy for the weekend. This is an XRS, but a Carpathian edition. So it comes with the same PPF on the sides, black stripe through the middle, signature vent from the XRS, and our XRS wheels. Looks absolutely fantastic in a 90. Real cool if you're just a single driver in a car. So as you can see, there's pretty much a Defender for everyone. And now I'm a little bit stuck. I don't know what parts to design next. We've probably got thousands of hours of R&D and design on these parts that we've put onto the car. Hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of development costs, but we don't know what to do next. What should we do? Little bit of a workshop update for you guys then. We are absolutely stacked. We couldn't fit any more cars in here if we tried. Um, so, Cullinan's been back over from Old Stratford. Sold now, nice. All sorts of stuff going on. Uh, Urus S has just turned up for some more development work. We've got a Rolls Royce Ghost for some more development work as well. Just need to get the front number plate area and the boot shut scanned on that to complete the data. That'll be perfect. 
what else is going on? Everything and anything that we can possibly fit in. Plus, people have decided to take holidays this week and that's just a bit uncalled for really, isn't it? <laughs> Mark Green. So this is our little electrical department going on at the minute. Boys are absolutely stacked out in here as well. When we first moved into this building, it was absolutely enormous. And I remember walking in here the first time and thinking, Jesus, what's Simon done? This is way too big. This used to be a showroom. Uh, it's not a showroom anymore, put it that way. We could do a building at least three times the size of this, which is a great problem to have. Maybe not so much for Simon, but you know, the overheads are only gonna get bigger. <laughs> I love a Bentley GT. I do. Sorry. <laughs> Concentrate. <laughs> Concentrate. It's not. It's, it's not 1998 anymore. There's not. A, there's not a Kenwood like head unit in there for you to chore. <laughs> Sell to your mates down just the pub. Just a joke. It's just a joke. How good does this look, mate? What a. Like, I love the Bentley GT. Yeah. I, it's stunning, and this is a beautiful colour. I didn't even realise they did this colour as a no-cost option. Really? Yeah, it costs money on the Bentayga, I believe, but not on the GT itself. Apart from grey, what is the official title of this car? Um, this is magnetic. It's stunning, like when the light is shining on it, it's silver. You like catch really, every line, really don't you, with the kit. Um, this one is our friend Mo Gilligan's second car for him. He's obviously got his G-Wagon and now he's got the Bentley GT to go with it. W12 derivative, sounds fantastic with a sports Boy. exhaust. We opted to give Mo a little gift on this one. We upgraded his wheels to the, the premium forge wheels as a little thank you for his continued business and promotion of our product. He's and got I a two car urban driveway yeah, now, isn't he? Yeah, he's got a two car urban driveway. Yeah, so this is a really classy spec. The grey with the cream leather just works really, really nicely. It looks really mint. It's full, full Mulliner. Obviously, it's got our full carbon fibre kit. Full carbon kit. Obviously, W12. So this one, which is That's the, rare. the big They don't boy. make them anymore. I think apart from on uh, the, um, the speed. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't think of a better car to drive like across Europe in. Like comfort, speed, looks. Very, very, very cool thing. It is. And after receiving this colour, I actually went out and bought one of these with our summer stock coming we've got i think five gts in total nice. two gtcs we've got black we've got this color which is magnetic yeah across both derivatives with different tweaks in the interior like i think i've got one with red stitch or oh, white nice. stitch so yeah lots coming in for the summer the bentley gt is always a great seller Normally only in the summer though. Yeah, so if you're interested in a Bentley GT like this, make sure you give me a shout, 01908 978 978, Lenny at urban-automotive.co.uk. Just had a call, we have a friend in dire straits that needs rescuing. Strong. Yeah, 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 boys. What, mate? With all I laugh, we say everything all right. Everything's all right, but it's extremely funny. I think you need to come with me. Why he, do I need to come with you? Because it'd be even funnier when we drive past him, with him broken down, going, ah! What, in Europe? In Europe? No. no, no, but what he has broken down in is fantastic. Well, go and get him then. Can we start again? Yeah, go and get him. Yeah. <laughs> We're rescuing Yanni. Yanni called me. I don't know why Yanni called me and he didn't call Sai or Lenny, but he called me um, to rescue him because he's run out of charge in his Citroen Ami. But, so maybe he didn't call me because he doesn't want Sai or Lenny to know. Um, but we, we brought Lenny along <laughs> anyway, um, because I think Lenny thought it would be funny. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm in the urban recovery truck and I've got a rope to tow him. So let's go and uh, rescue him. Hazard reported ahead. That is Yanni, he's the hazard. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I've just spotted him. Car stop, so that is, that is Yanni. He's the hazard. 
Yanni is the hazard head. <laughs> save me, please, save me. <laughs> what even is that? What? <laughs> Cross to Milton Keynes and we failed. We charged it as well, we still didn't make it. But Urban, team to the rescue! My guy, Tom and Jenny, when are you getting out of the car? <laughs> the if you're gonna call the AA out or the RAC, don't need to when you've got one of these. When you've got Urban as your family, you're good to go. <laughs> Mate, you right, mate? You come to save me? No, no I've just come to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> You're not towing me in this. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Charge. What do you think to it? Looks cool though, doesn't it? We made it! Shout out Urban, we made it! My boys, my guys! Are we You've filming? Got to get it though, that's the Are problem. we filming? Are we filming now? We are filming. Right, so this is second take because Cam didn't like the first take. Yeah, I know, yeah, he's picking up on Tom vibes, isn't he? It's okay, but, but let's can just you do take it, it again? again just in case. So Lamborghini, Renault, Re Revout. Revuto. Right. Re Revu Re Revuto. Revuto. No, I'm probably saying They've right. actually picked the hardest name to say ever. Because a Ventador was easy, even for a chav like me. A vent. Or on a door, a Ventador. Yeah. A Ventador. Yeah. Um, that so looks the b by the way. I, Am I allowed to say that? I love that. I'm a huge Aventador fan, and I think the aggressive styling has been carried across to the Revuto. Yeah, the, the little sort of Y lights on the side, when they're not little, are they? The Y lights are... What was on that? It was like the Cyan, wasn't it? The Cyan. Cyan. Had, Cyan had Sean. before, the Sean. The Lamborghini <laughs> Sean, the Irish version. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is, anyway, this is um, Spanish for something. Scramble. Can't be Spanish, Sp can't be Spanish for something because it's Italian. It's going to be Italian for something, surely. Um, and whatever, it's, it's scramble, right. whatever language it is, it's, it means scramble. Right, let's, why, let's, would you call your, why would you call your car scramble? Italian to English. Does anyone know whether there's terminology of a car and scramble? What? A fighting ball, there you go. So it is Spain. What? Check it. Review, review toll. So I'm doing English to. Oh, so in, in Italian it, it means review toll. Oh, so it's the right. same. So change it to Spanish. Translate to Spanish. Scrambled. The Lamborghini means, scrambled. Bit of an egg, really, isn't it? <laughs> um, but, and apparently it means fight, fighting ball. Fighting ball. That's a very, very cool car. And of course, we had to do exactly what we normally do, and we've done a render already. Bosh. Zoom in, zoom in. <laughs> Which one do you prefer, guys? Do you prefer our one or their one? Now, as far as I'm concerned, it needed a rear wing. Everything looks better with a splitter and a spoiler. Everything. Yeah. Name a car. Dacia Sandero. Splitter, spoiler, Bosch. <laughs> Voxel Astra. Splitter, spoiler, Bosch. <laughs> Fiat Panda. What am I going to say? <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to say? Splitter, spoiler, bush. <laughs> but that looks incredible. It does. It looks like it's got 23 inch wheels on it. And it does look bad boy on that. Yeah, you have gone heavy on the on the, on the the wheels, Tom. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Anything else apart from the Lamborghini Scrambled being cool? Oh, well, they're all sold out. Right. And they're half a million pounds. Half a bar, aren't they? Yeah. So there's someone somewhere with money at the moment. Mm. I, I wish we could find them. I have one. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Very, very cool thing. So on the subject of Lamborghinis, we have our first Urus S in. We are nearly finished with 
all of our components and parts. Wide arch has been changed slightly to go with a new design, new diffuser with some extra special. Give us a time scale. What are we saying? Are we going to be first to the market? It doesn't matter whether you're first to market as long as you're the best. Best to the market. Because we're not the first to the market with the Range Rover, are we? Has it got a splitter and a spoiler? Bush. Bush. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we'll see you next week. <laughs>